and ye shall not wrong one another. But thou shalt fear thy God, for I am the Lord your God. Wherefore ye shall do my statutes, and keep mine ordinances and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land in safety. And the land shall yield her fruit, and ye shall eat until ye have enough, and dwell therein in safety. And if ye shall say, What shall we eat this seventh year? Behold, we may not sow, nor gather in our increase. Then I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, and it shall bring forth produce for the three years. And ye shall sow the eighth year, and eat of the produce, the old store, until the ninth year, until her produce come in, ye shall eat the old store. And the land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine, for ye are strangers and settlers with me. And in all the land of your possession ye shall grant a redemption for the land. If thy brother be waxen poor, and sell some of his possession, then shall his kinsman that is next unto him come, and shall redeem that which his brother hath sold. And if a man have no one to redeem it, and he be waxen rich and find sufficient means to redeem it, then let him count the years of the sale thereof, and restore the overplus unto the man to whom he sold it, and he shall return unto his possession. But if he have not sufficient means to get it back for himself, then that which he hath sold shall remain in the hand of him that hath bought it until the year of jubilee. And in the jubilee it shall go out, and he shall return unto his possession. And if a man sell a dwelling house in the walled city, then he may redeem it within a whole year after it is sold. For a full year shall he have the right of redemption. And if it be not redeemed within the space of a full year, then the house that is in the walled city shall be made sure in perpetuity to him that bought it throughout his generations. It shall not go out in the jubilee. But the houses of the villages which have no wall round about them shall be reckoned with the fields of the country. They may be redeemed, and they shall go out in the jubilee. But as for the cities of the Levites, the houses of the cities of their possession, the Levites shall have a perpetual right of redemption. And if a man purchase of the Levites, then the house that was sold in the city of his possession shall go out in the jubilee. For the houses of the cities of the Levites are their possession among the children of Israel. But the fields of the open land about their cities may not be sold, for that is their perpetual possession. And if thy brother be waxen poor, and his means fail with thee, then thou shalt uphold him, as a stranger and a settler shall he live with thee. Take thou no interest of him or increase, but fear thy God, that thy brother may live with thee. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon interest, nor give him thy victuals for increase. I am the Lord your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, to give you the land of Canaan, to be your God. And if thy brother be waxen poor with thee, and sell himself unto thee, thou shalt not make him to serve as a bondservant. As a hired servant, and as a settler, he shall be with thee. He shall serve with thee unto the year of Jubilee. Then shall he go out from thee, he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. For they are my servants, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bondmen. Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, but shalt fear thy God. And as for thy bondmen, and thy bondmaids, whom thou mayest have, of the nations that are round about you, of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. Moreover of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them may ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they have begotten in your land, and they may be your possession. And ye may make them an inheritance for your children after you, to hold for a possession, of them may ye take your bondmen forever. But over your brethren the children of Israel ye shall not rule, one over another, with rigor. And if a stranger who is a settler with thee be waxen rich, and thy brother be waxen poor beside him, and sell himself unto the stranger who is a settler with thee, or to the offshoot of a stranger's family. After that he is sold he may be redeemed, one of his brethren may redeem him. Or his uncle, or his uncle's son, may redeem him or any that is nigh of kin unto him of his family may redeem him. Or if he be waxen rich, 
he may redeem himself. And he shall reckon with him that bought him from the year that he sold himself to him unto the year of Jubilee. And the price of his sale shall be according unto the number of years. According to the time of a hired servant shall he be with him. If there be yet many years, according unto them he shall give back the price of his redemption out of the money that he was bought for. And if there remain but few years unto the year of Jubilee, then he shall reckon with him. According unto his years shall he give back the price of his redemption. As a servant hired year by year shall he be with him. He shall not rule with rigor over him in thy sight. And if he be not redeemed by any of these means, then he shall go out in the year of Jubilee, he and his children with him. For unto me the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall make you no idols, either shall ye rear you up a graven image, or a pillar, either shall ye place any figured stone in your land, to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths, and reverence my sanctuary, I am the Lord. If ye walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments, and do them, then I will give your rains in their season, and the land shall yield her produce and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread until ye have enough, and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will cause evil beasts to cease out of the land, either shall the sword go through your land. And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall chase ten thousand, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. And I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and will establish my covenant with you. And ye shall eat old store long kept, and ye shall bring forth the old from before the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you, and will be your God, and ye shall be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen, and I have broken the bars of your yoke, and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall reject my statutes, and if your soul abhor mine ordinances, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but break my covenant. I also will do this unto you. I will appoint terror over you, even consumption and fever, that shall make the eyes to fail, and the soul to languish. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be smitten before your enemies. They that hate you shall rule over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if you will not yet for these things hearken unto me, then I will chastise you seven times more for your sins. And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass. And your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield her produce, either shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. And if you walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. And I will send the beast of the field among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your ways shall become desolate. And if in spite of these things you will not be corrected unto me, but will walk contrary unto me, 